So as I mentioned in my previous most frequently purchased shoes video, this is going to be a two part video. So this is part two. If you guys are interested in checking out my most frequently purchased shoes, continue watching. This video is going to contain a bunch of shoes which I have purchased a while ago. The ones featured in my last video are shoes I actually really love and wear often and I've purchased recently. The ones in this video are shoes I've purchased over the past few years a while ago and shoes that I don't really touch anymore. I've always had this problem where I'll buy double if not more of a pair of shoes that I like at a point in time. It's just this mentality I have. If I like the shoe, I'm gonna buy it in every color that I'm gonna wear it in. And it's it's always been like that for me. So I know it's a bit of a problem or an addiction, but I can't help myself. It's just greed, honestly, it's just greed. I don't really have much else to say. It's quite a disgusting habit, to be honest. Okay, so first up we have the Vita sandal. I did an unboxing of these. I actually bought them more or less around the same time. I first, I actually don't remember which one I purchased first, but I love these. I saw them on Rihanna and I was like, I need those. I'll be honest, the blue and the pink I have not worn. You can see like the soles are completely clear. I've probably worn them around the house, but I've not really worn them out. The red I have worn out. It isn't the most comfortable pair of shoes, I'm not gonna lie, especially if your foot is on the slightly wider side. However, the nude, tan, beige, whatever you wanna call this, I love. I have worn these a few times, although it doesn't really show. I love these, these are so beautiful. They actually look like I've got no shoes on when I'm tanned. And I love that. This shoe, actually, I have a few variations of. These are probably the most uncomfortable, but I love them. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I purchased these two. These are actually called the Henson Sandal because these have a chain strap instead of the leather strap. These are in white. I looked high and low for these, and I'm so glad I found them because I do wear them quite often. I love them. These, again, have not touched. I don't know. These just don't do it for me, really. I don't know why I bought them. In fact, no, I do know why I bought them. I got these ones because these were gold and I wore them often. So I was like, maybe I'll wear these often because they're all silver. That's my logic. Not great, but still logical. And my most recent purchase, which is not exactly the same as either of those, but I'm not sure what these are called, but they are my favorite purchase. They're in gold as well as silver with this rhinestone kind of strap around the ankle. I really like these. I'm not gonna lie, I really do like these. I find them to be the most comfortable. The toe area is also a lot wider and like rounder in comparison to the Vita and the Henson. So if you're looking for a pair of nice strappy heels, I definitely recommend these. These are a great add-on to a very boring outfit. Love these. On the topic of gold and silver, I purchased these. These are the Tom Ford heels. I absolutely love Tom Ford heels. I don't like the padlock heels. I find that the padlock itself, I do have a pair, it just hits against the bone of my ankle. Like, you know that, that bulgy bone? I don't know what it's called, but it's really painful to walk in and they are not the most comfortable. So I opted for these and these are a beautiful pair of shoes. I don't really love how they criss cross over like the ankle area. If they were just like a plain tie at the ankle, I think I prefer those. But nevertheless, they are a beautiful pair of shoes and they look stunning with an all white or an all black outfit. In fact, any outfit, I'll be honest, they go with anything. Though they have been collecting dust recently because I've not been leaving my house too much. I definitely need to invest in like more flats because I don't leave my house as much as I used to. Swiftly moving on to a brand I have loved since day one. Ever since I got my first ever paycheck, I think at like 15, this is a brand I purchased from and it is Christian Louboutin Louboutin. I love Christian Louboutin. I, I know he hasn't really done any styles which I personally love recently, but the Pigal Folies in 100mm are these shoes I recommend to everyone. They are probably the most comfortable pairs of Pigals. There is a large variation of Pigals and there are a lot of differences. I know to the naked eye, you might think every Pigal looks the same and every kind of Kate and so Kate, but they are all very different. In fact, I could do a whole video on all my Christian Louboutins because I've been collecting these for years and I love them. I'll be honest, I know this might come as a shock, but the pony hair, are my favorite and they've always been my favorite. This is a fairly recent purchase of mine. I wanna say recent and I mean recent in the past five years. Whereas these I've had for a while, they are a staple. I have them in 100 and I have them in 120. They are in suede. I have them in a bunch of different colors. I'm just gonna show you my most frequently worn ones. And I'll be honest, when it comes to classic basic heels, Christian Louboutin is the place I go 
for all my basics because the blacks and the nudes and just the colors that they do in the classic styles will always be a classic for me. I know they're a bit overdone, but who cares? Another favorite pair of Christian Louboutins, I actually have these only in two colors, but these are a beautiful pair. I think I got these back in 2016 or 17. I remember buying these for a gala dinner and these are the Jonatinas. I think I got them from Matches. I love these so much that I purchased these. In fact, these are a little bit big. These are a 37, they didn't have a 36. And I do wanna say a lot of my Christian Louboutins are actually 37. I vary from 35 and a half in their trainers to like a 37 in heels majority of which are in the older styles. I don't know why I think my foot has shrunk, but a majority of my older shoes are 37, whereas these are 36 and a half. They actually look better at slightly larger because as it is an open toe, I didn't want my toes coming over the edge or my heel like jutting out of the back. It's just a pet peeve for me when shoes don't fit properly, especially if they're an open toe. I do not want to see your feet clawing onto the front of your shoes for dear life it's just i just hate feet as it is so you know it just makes it worse then we have these famous aquazuras i shouldn't have worn such a bold top today because it's not really showing up but these are the aquazuras i completely forgot what they're called these have been worn to death these are fantastic though well they were and i think a lot of people bought these when they saw these on kylie Jenner. like these were a moment like a pair of like black leggings or black jeans with these now i don't really reach towards these especially because they're a 37 they're still actually a little bit big for me like i feel like they look big i don't know why i was buying 37 i really pushed to be a bigger shoe size they're kind of like peeling apart coming off i didn't get these in any other colors i just got the elaf snakeskin in this sandy kind of snake as well as the black. I'll be honest, I love these. These are a great pair of shoes, but I just don't reach for them. Also, they're a hassle to put on and take off at the end of the night. So I'm not here for that. Then I have the Christian Louboutin Highness. These are my two most worn, well they were at least, they are battered and they belong in the back of my closet for good reason. They are disgusting. <laughs> Just look at the state of those soles. Awful. I would be sneaking into clubs pretending I was of age in these heels because obviously five foot, I needed all the height I could get. So these were my go-to. I was obsessed with these and when I found the pony hair, leopard ones, it was over. I treasured those and guarded those like they were something holy. I haven't picked these up in a long time. Have no to little intention of picking these up in a very long time. But on the topic of chunky heels, because since they are back in fashion, I had to bring out the Zanotti Bettys. I don't know if you guys were around when I first started my channel, but I definitely unboxed these on the channel. I think I actually got these from Farfet. I can't get over the fact that I used to wear these. In fact, I still actually reach for these. I'm not gonna lie. They looked killer with a little black dress and the Saint Laurent like embellished jacket that I had, the long velvet bomber. They actually looked really sick. And because chunky heels are coming back, I feel like it's fair play to them. These could work now. This is why I don't ever get rid of my shoes. Like I just, I find it really hard to separate myself from shoes and bags. Like before growing up, I'd find it very easy to just like sell bags and shoes, obviously because I needed the extra pocket money. But now, no. If I don't have to sell them, I'm not selling them. Like it's absolutely not happening. I will treasure these with my life and I will save them. It's like my ultimate goal to have at least 500 pairs of shoes. Actually, wait, how did how many did Imelda Marcos have? I definitely want to have more shoes than Imelda Marcos. It's a big goal, it's a big challenge, but um, I'm gonna accept that challenge because I love shoes. I'm obsessed with these. I will never get rid of these. Then a popular pair of flats at a point in time were the Gucci Prince Town loafers. These are the only two I currently have in Dubai. I'm pretty sure I've got more crazier colors in London, but I managed to salvage these two and keep them in Dubai. I don't touch them, I'll be honest. I don't even know why they're here. I know, you know what? They're great in spring as well as in winter. It does get chilly, so sometimes these are useful, but it's now peak summer and there's no way in hell I'm gonna be caught dead wearing these out. In fact, I think I prefer these to the ones without the fur because the ones without the fur, when your foot gets sweaty, you can kind of hear like the squelching of it. Like I was at I was at a restaurant once and there was a guy wearing the ones without the fur and my friend was like, ew, did you hear him walk past? And we just looked down and 
It's just very off-putting. Love these though. I wish I got the full loafer version. I would have loved to have those, but I think they only did them for men if I'm not mistaken. Regardless, I couldn't get my hands on them, so I was very upset. Okay, the next pair of shoes, I was actually embarrassed to bring out of storage. I, I honestly didn't even want to show you guys this pair of shoes because it's actually embarrassing that I still have them. However, to salvage that, I only have two pairs. I stopped buying these when I realized how basic they were. They are a very comfortable pair of shoes. I did rave about them at one point, and I will still say they are a very comfortable pair of shoes, but they're just so mediocre. They do nothing. They ignite nothing within me. I don't even want to look at them. Like, I don't have much to say about these. I really don't. Like, I love Gian Vito Rossi for basics. I think he does amazing basics. If you're looking for a plain, boring, affordable-ish pair of shoes and you don't want the red sole, I wouldn't throw these in the bin, but I keep them in storage. They're actually still boxed up. Okay, this next pair is a fantastic pair, but I haven't touched them in, I want to say eight years, if not more. The Christian Louboutin Debut? No, they're not the Debut. I'm not sure what these are called. I have no idea, but they are both, actually, no, this is a size 37 and a half, shockingly enough, and this is a 37. They are beautiful shoes, which I just have not touched in years. When I got my hands on these, I was so happy. I have worn them quite a bit, but they are very uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, like, just look at that. That's not comfortable for anyone. Well, not for me, at least. I love them. I wish you'd come out with more styles like this. Christian Louboutin did more shoes like this. I'd still be buying the brand, but he's not doing anything that excites me. It's become, like, borderline tacky. No, it's become very tacky, and it's become... Blur. It's become boring. It's become tacky and boring. Although I think he makes his money from like private client sales, which is fantastic. I mean, I would definitely go and get my foot molded and start designing my own pairs of shoes with him, but I've just not had the opportunity to or just sat down and actually planned it out. But it's something you can definitely do and it's something which if you are considering doing, definitely do. If you still like the brand, go ahead. A lot of people actually ask me, how do I keep my soles red? I don't. I really don't. There was one point in time where I actually bought the red paint that was being promoted everywhere and I was like, oh, maybe I'll paint the soles. And I really don't care about the soles going dirty. In fact, I think I prefer it once they've got that look of being worn. When they look pristine and new, it's just like, what's the point? I really don't want to say it's end of an era for this brand because I still love this brand and hope he produces more interesting pieces. Maybe collaborate with someone. Do a 40 year collection. The 20 year anniversary was amazing. I have some pieces from that collection, which I'd love to show you guys. If you want to see my most unworn shoes and the shoes I bought ages ago and still have, but just don't touch and keep in boxes, then let me know in the comments below. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video, although I do have other shoes. I could show you like more Gian Vito Rossi's, but it's just not worth it. They're just not worth it. In fact, I don't even know why I showed you those. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what else you want to see. This was actually really interesting. And I actually had a lot of fun pulling out the old pieces that I haven't seen in a while. It makes me very nostalgic and grateful how far I've come. Personally, mentally, fashionably, my style has definitely evolved and I've definitely evolved as a person. Looking back at these shoes, I know it sounds crazy, but it is very nostalgic. And in retrospect, I'm glad I bought all of these shoes because it's a nice little reminder of where I came from and how hard I struggled to buy these shoes. <laughs> Life is hard when your parents don't give you money, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.